Hi, this is Bob. I picked up a sixer not long ago and uh, was unable to find a the regular microphone for it. I've got it upside down here on the workbench. Got the camera upside down. Let me turn the camera over here. But uh, I did something that really worked out good and I wanted to show it to everybody so I thought I'd put it on YouTube here. I bought this microphone at a garage sale for a dollar. It's got an electric microphone cartridge in it or condenser microphone cartridge which needs a voltage to operate. Uh, so I thought gee I wonder if that would work on the sixer and where in the world am I going to get the voltage to operate it. Well the first thing I did was I connected the signal wire from the microphone cartridge that the, that the audio signal comes through to the center conductor here. The other wires are clipped off real short so there's only the one wire from the cartridge with the signal on it that goes to the center conductor of the cartridge uh, to the connection here. And then uh, I also, there's a switch inside here that just take the screws off the back and I jumpered the switch so that it's on all the time so that signal comes through all the time so I don't have to push this button on the side when I want to transmit because I'm already flipping this switch up here. So, anyways, to make that work I connected a diode right here. This is a 1N4007 diode connected to pin 3 of the 12AX7 tube. That diode can be any plastic diode. It's only 6.3 volts. It could be any diode, so don't worry about that. You notice the banded end goes away from the tube socket pin there. Connects to a 4700 ohm resistor, which connects to the positive side of a 470 microfarad capacitor, which is connected to ground over here. And then the other 4700 ohm resistor connects to that point. So the, the voltage comes through the diode, is rectified, goes through this resistor, is filtered by the capacitor, then comes through this resistor here and goes to the center of the microphone connector right here. There's a 0.001 microfarad coupling capacitor here that couples to the tube. You need that coupling capacitor. Now if you want to put this on other rigs, I've used this on SB104 and an HW104 and a SS9000 and you've got to add a coupling capacitor. When I do that I've added a 0.1 microfarad coupling capacitor because I like a little more bass and that'll couple a little more bass and it really really sounds nice. These microphones have got a very good response. So uh, here's the circuit here. I'm going to keep the uh, camera on it for here for just a minute. Here's the pin 3 of the 12AX7. Here's the diode. Here's the first 4700 ohm resistor. The capacitor, the positive side, connects right there. The other resistor connects here, which is also a 4700 ohm. And then it goes to the center of the microphone connector on the sixer. And here's the coupling capacitor that goes to the 12AX7 grid. Okay. And now I covered these. I just put some pieces of, of uh, clear heat shrink over this, up to this point here, and another piece of clear heat shrink on there just to keep these things from shorting out and make it look a little nicer. And uh, this is the schematic here, so I thought it's simple enough, so I'll just show it here on the camera. So that's how it's wired up. Now, um, and that gives me just about uh, six and a half volts of DC to power the microphone, which is just fine. And we'll put it in transmit here and there she goes and then see I don't have to push the button on the mic because I got that you can leave that like that if you want but there it is We're testing one two three four you can see it modulating really nice there lighting the little light bulb that's a 47 uh, number 47 light bulb which is what they say in the sixer manual to uh, to use when you're uh, tuning these up so it does real fine and it's quite sensitive and has good audio so I just thought I would show that because there's I know there's guys out there that have been looking for microphones for sixers and man this works really nice. So uh, I just thought I would show you that, that what what I did here tonight just got done uh, just got done doing this about a half an hour ago. So that's it 73s and good DX.